Hey, welcome to my vlog. This is day one of my vlog, but today is not day one of my recording. Um, so today's date is the Tuesday the 16th of April. Um, excuse the wet hair. I do recall doing a recording, <laughs> uh, doing a vlog. Oops, hang on, that one's upside down. Uh, I am Diamond Painting while I'm doing this. I do recall doing a vlog uh, and uh, earlier in the week and I can't find it. So, start fresh. I uploaded the video log on, my fortnightly log on Friday. Um, so yeah, I think that went well. He's got to see my face. Um, <laughs> you're seeing it again, even though my hair is all wet. And, yeah. Um, and I am diamond painting as I speak because I'm more comfortable doing that. I was actually contemplating putting uh, a second camera on, so my overhead camera on where it was going to show here. But. Um, the recording just seems I've, I've, I tried it and it's just not working so it's not it's jumping it's skittish so I don't know what's going on so I'm gonna have to play with that and get it right I've done a recording like it before and had not didn't have that issue so yeah anyway anywho today is the Tuesday the 16th of April tomorrow is Wednesday 17th of April and I am supposed to be at work tomorrow but I don't work on my birthday so I've taken an annual leave day and not just not going to work till Thursday so yay me an extra day off six days of not going to work instead of just five <laughs> okay so what's happened since I uploaded that log um, <laughs> so Nathan was home for the weekend went night fishing on Saturday night came home with a snapper um, we had that for dinner when did we have that for dinner no we had that for dinner the next night Sunday night because he got home mm, I don't know what time uh, somewhere around the midnight mark anyway so he had a fish which is good I think he needed to go fishing um so that was Saturday and what else did I do on Saturday oh when he was out of the house because it's always easy to do stuff when he's out of the house I did some resin art I don't know whether it'll be up um before this vlog goes out because I've done one pour well I did the one side with the beach scene that turned out to be a planet um, and I'm not really happy with it what I did do is I taped around the outside of it and I did the back side and I used darker tints and I put a color I put white in the base color hopefully it'll be up before this vlog um, but it's one that's taking um, a fair amount of time because I'm letting it set fully so I did that Saturday today is Tuesday which means I can actually go and sand it um, I can sand it and then do, probably do some more work on it this afternoon and yeah, that, that I actually like the way it looks at the moment. Um, I showed Nathan he's happy, he, he likes it. Or he's, sorry, he says he likes it. <laughs> um, his response is, with a lot of things is, if you like it, it's good. <laughs> Are you happy with it? <laughs> so, 
It's always a nondescript answer for him whether he likes something or not. Let's just drop to Dell. So that's in the makings. Today I have to go get ingredients for cake because uh, I'm going to make a black forest cake for work because I do cake for my birthday. Um, normally I do, for my birthday I tend to put a Facebook post up and say cakes at my house at this time if you know where I live come and have some. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it last year. Last year I I don't know where I was last year. Yeah, I didn't do it last year. Um, but I've done it other years and it's worked out quite well. Uh, this one is my birthday is actually midweek, so you know it's pretty hard for people to turn up. So I when I make the black forest cake, it's um, generally takes about four hours to make. So I'm going to video it, I'm going to record it and to put that up because I love to bake and I thought I'd, I'll share that one. Uh, it's a very long process but it's still pretty cool, it turns out really nice. And because I'm not making cake for home and Nathan loves the Black Forest cake and he sulks when I, don't make, when I make cake and we don't do any. When I do the Black Forest cake what I do is I let the, with the leftovers. I put them in a glass jar and I'm just trying to get that camera on the right angle for you. Um, put it in a glass jar and then um, have to, you know, parfait type thing, you know, layer of cake, layer of cherries, layer of cream, and do that a couple of times. And that tends to keep him happy that he's gotten cake. <laughs> Um, but I mean when I do go to work I will when I take it to work I do cut him a piece and I bring it home for him anyway um, so he still gets to have cake I think he just likes carrying on like a little yeah yeah anyway so I did the I've done the resin pour my rhinestone tiger fairy and tiger i have completed that part of me last night now that was <laughs> that was funny that's one that um i've been doing when i haven't wanted to do um any of my squares i, I had got i got my go-to when i'm when I'm not really in the mood, well, I should say in the mood, when I'm looking at only sitting for about an hour to diamond paint, it's I do a round because they're quicker um, for me. However, I spent half of yesterday finishing them. So, you know, I did do a pretty big stint on, on it. What else? Um, uh, Game of Thrones came out. And Frutini did her 12 hour stream. So I joined Frutini at the very beginning and I was there at the very end. In the middle, I went to bed because she's filmed, might have been during the day for her and you guys over in the US. But it was night time for me. So, um, had the um, while on Frutini's live, I realised what the date was, and then looked at the time of, of her stream, and then I got on and I looked at the timing of uh, Game of Thrones, because uh, yes, I'm one of those watchers. Um, There, so I made the comment, I made it a couple of times going, so many hours to Game of Thrones, so many hours to Game of Thrones. So I told Frutini she was a, her live was actually perfectly timed for Game of Thrones.
excuse me, good morning, it's coffee time. So yeah, I actually really did in whoops, shush notifications. Who was that one? Oh, Steph, Wolfpack Diamond Painting, she's done an unboxing. Be watching that one this afternoon. Um, yeah, so it was really good to see her live go for so long. Um, it was really funny in that way. I'm, I like lives. I like doing lives. Um, but I will say a live that goes more than two hours, um, I won't watch. I won't go back and rewatch. I might join it briefly, but I never end up going back to it because two to three hours for me, if I've got things to do, um, if I've got things to do, I need to get them done, um, and I can't have have a stick here in diamond paint with a two three hour live replaying um, and having to yeah. Whereas if I was actually at a live, different matter. I'll go on and play while the live is playing, and it is live. Hey, this is V. Um, day one of my video log. Not day one of my video log, but it is day one. Um, today is the 16th of April. I, how do I put this? I did a recording and I can't find it. Um, <clears throat> my my first video log for the fortnight. I cannot find it. So start again. What have I done so far? So today, actually, I'll go. Today is the sixteenth of April, Tuesday. Um, I'm not at work tomorrow. Tomorrow is an annual leave day. I have done. What have I done today? Today I have sanded back and painted the edges and put the tape down ready to level and put my resin on which I'll do this afternoon on one of my on my resin tray. Um, I was on Laura Law's live chat this morning so I've just joined in a little bit. Um, I'm not sure I don't think so um, I'm just trying to work out what I've shown. Um, so I did the round resin where it looked like the, um, it was meant to be a beach thing, but it ended up looking like a planet to me. Um, so what I did was I flipped it over and I did a resin um, pour on the other side and I did a dirty, what's called a dirty pour. So what I've done is I've done that dirty pour that set and I did the sanding today. So that video will be up soon. It takes a bit of editing these ones. Um, what else? Completed the rhinestone diamond painting of the tiger. So I'll do a quick little short thing on that. Um, I've made a decision with um, the diamond painting that my comment is going to be purely on whether I like it or not. I'm not going to review the, co the company. Um, yeah, there's there's a few reasons for that. Is everybody has their opinions on their own on the companies they deal with, and some of us have a preference over others. So we tend to give a glowing, um, glowing glowing review on something on a company if we like the company um i do find that there might be something wrong slightly but you make um an excuse for it so you you know because it's a company you like dealing with so uh i haven't i will say i haven't gotten to that stage well i will know sorry i will say i do have one company that i will go for my customs only now but um but from there, it's going to be all about whether I liked it. Um, it won't be, I might say this is where I got it from and how I liked it. I'm not going to turn around and say, well, I could, this was wrong, that was wrong. I don't know. That's a, I'm not quite sure. See how we go. But I'll do a review or a comment on, on that one and what I might do with it 
now that it's completed. I've worked on the Blue Panther. I've worked on the Flower Cat. Um, I haven't done anything on the Leopard because the Leopard has, um, has now, because I'm doing it with the, I'm doing the whipping chats and I'm adding in the um, video footage that was taken. Um, I will do a live with, I'll do a whip and chat probably tomorrow on that one. Um, or maybe not tomorrow. <laughs> Planning out what I need to get done. Um, what I do have is tomorrow is my birthday. So tomorrow I take, I always take an annual leave day off on my birthday. But I will also be baking black forest cake so I will be recording that process over the next couple of days um, I do the cherries in advance um, because I really if I don't do them in advance they're never cool enough and I'm too impatient when I put the cake together so I'll do the cherry first and then it's the cake and then it's obviously it's the layering and setting them up so that's another one that will hopefully be up and available for you to see before the vlog goes up but wait and see um, oh, pardon me. So sorry. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, no, that's not it. I have changed my mind on my, my custom from scratch. So I was going to do the leopard that was, he's looking down into the tree, from the tree. And it was actually a... Um, it was actually quite a wide one. Where's the other hand? That hand there. God. <laughs> so it was actually quite wide. Um, and but narrow. And what I did, I'd worked out all the colours. I'd done all of it. So I'd worked out what I needed. I had my labels done. I'd gone through the drills that I currently have. Um, to, uh, to be able to go, well, I don't need to order any of these drills, righty -ra. Um I went on the Stitches to Stones website and put it in my shopping cart. Um, and it was like $120, $130 worth of drills. Um, and then as I was doing, when I was de-kitting stuff, I was then changing it. I went to actually place the order for those that were in my car um, a couple of weeks ago but what happened is I went to the car to purchase and my cart was empty and so it was a case of I had to redo it all so um, I got to thinking about it going well I've already got one of the leopard so I'll do one of my other prints so I'm actually changed that to where you can see uh, I wasn't going to come on and post today I wasn't going to do a vlog today um, but today is the 17th of April happy birthday me um, I have come on because um, where I work has fucked up and now I'm having to deal with um, an overpayment or what I believe is an overpayment they are yet to get back and contact me I have a case number um, and I've spoken to so I I used to work in this department so I know the process um, and how do I put it I've been paid a retention bonus and I know a hundred percent well, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's not for me. Um, hold on to your hats because this is a retention bonus. Um, how do I put it? Oh, where did that picture go? Um, the retention bonus is $20,368. Pretty sure it's not mine. <laughs> I'd love to say it was, but it's not mine. Um, 
So yeah, I used to work in that department. They decided to offshore it to, still within the company, but to another uh, country where things are less expensive to do. Um, I don't, when it went across, one of the things that I turned around and went, anything wrong with my pay, I don't trust, uh, it, it's terrible. I come from that department and I don't trust the people we're trained. Um, not the people specifically, but the people in general because their culture is so different. Um, so I've <coughs> contacted a friend who still works in, in that department or closely to that department and let him know. And he went, oh, happy birthday, enjoy. And I went, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay it back. So I've rung where I, the comp I've rung the employee services. Um, first phone call, the guy doesn't know. The guy said, oh yeah, it's a retention bonus. And I went, well, you might want to check my file to see where the documentation is for this because I'm not aware of one. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. And I turned around and told him that I used to do work in that department to give him the heads up that I knew what, what it was what I was talking about. So he goes and looks on my file and turns around and says, mm, there's nothing here to say that that payment's for you. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not for me. <laughs> so in the meantime, I've actually messaged my friend via Facebook Messenger and like I've turned around and said to him, um, I'm sorry to do this on a messenger, but I'm not at work. I can't contact you at work. Um, but can you look into this? So he's the one that sent me a screenshot of my pay slip. And he's like, it's a retention bonus. Meh. So I dare say at the moment, the process would be that whoever does the payroll reports, which is actually my job. My job was to pick up incorrect payments or to investigate why someone was getting a higher payment um, and something like this would have would have flagged in a way but it's a retention bonus um, so what they're going to have to do I'd love to tell them how to do their job but they just need to run a simple report look at who received retention bonuses and then um, they would probably discover who else received retention bonuses and what those roles are for or they would be contacting the reward team who I used to work with once a year. We used to spend three months with the reward team and they would contact them and say, should this person received a retention bonus? And they would have gone yes or no. And it should be that quick. It used to be that quick because payroll plus the reward team used to be on the same floor. And because I had that relationship and knew the reward team and how it was done, I knew how to find that stuff. So I made the call more than an hour ago. I haven't heard anything. Um, my friend turned around and he said, ah, spend it. Spend it and make it and take it out of your pay <laughs> every fortnight <laughs> for 20 years to get it back. <clears throat> Thank you, really do like that one. I am tempted to say I can only give you this much back and the rest of it you can take out of my pay on a fortnightly basis. It's my birthday, I'd like to go shopping. Hmm? Um, so yeah, um, I was actually going to do some online shopping today. Today's date, Saturday the 20th of April. Um, it's noisy dog beside me. Uh, just before 8am, I've come off night shift. Uh, my eyes are hanging out of my head, but I need to, I just need to diamond paint. Um, I do diamond paint when I come home from work off night shift. I do sit down for a couple of hours and uh, do some diamond painting. So I thought I'd just do that. Oh, buddy. No, he's good. Uh, sorry about that disgusting noise, but animals, you can't stop them. 
I don't know inappropriate times. Um, but yeah, I, I've I've come home, I'll diamond paint and to relax, and then I'll go have a shower and go to bed. Uh, but no face because yeah, I'm, my eyes are not 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 the best at the moment. Um, where do we go? So my. I just went and looked at my video recordings for this vlog. The first one that I did, I still can't find. The second one that I did is, although you can hear me talking, the camera is um, freezing. Uh, hopefully, I believe I've fixed the issue because the third recording, which I did on my birthday, has worked without any issues. So. I don't know what's going on. Me and computers don't agree anymore. It's shocking. But the um, third one that I did, which was the 17th of April, so that was three days ago, uh, it was my birthday. And it was um, <laughs> a day I wasn't going to do a vlog, but because I... Um, had a little bit of an incident with my pay I just had to I just had to share it it was just so funny it's still semi funny but not funny so I went to work on the 18th so that was basically two days ago and I would not had a reply from the payroll employee services side of the business I did have uh, I had an acting supervisor which is you know all good no no, no, no stress there uh, and I said to him does he know anything about the overpayments and he said oh a little bit <laughs> apparently he was one of them as well so there we go um, but there's nothing else, nothing nothing in my emails to say I've been overpaid, nothing in relation to the case number that I raised. And even today, three days later, I haven't heard from the guy from employee services um, that said was going to ring me back and let me know. Last night when I started night shift, uh, my supervisor and of my original crew and supervisor of this crew I uh, one I took the black forest cake in and said it's there so uh, but my super my my correct supervisor so this is where it gets confusing I've got two supervisors but my supervisor that deals with all my personnel stuff uh, he turned around and said you should have a letter there to do with your overpayment um, any questions uh, let me know and then I turned around and I told him all about the process and he looked at me his jaw dropped and I said well I wrote the process of doing the recruitment of overpayments and I said so you know <laughs> if you've got any questions come to me <laughs> so yeah um, so there we go we got the uh, there's an email there to say there's been an overpayment made of this much money. Um, they've just haven't even said it's the net value or the gross value. They've just said this is what you need to pay us back. There was no sorry for the inconvenience. Um, and I know as an employee, don't not necessarily have a reason behind why it happened. But an apology would be would go a long way. But the culture of where payroll is now done, they don't apologise. They just, if there's a mistake made, they fix it. They move on and say they won't make that mistake again. But they don't apologise to an employee for the stress and issue they cause by this error occurring and that frustrates the hell out of me Australians do have a 
pretty laid back carefree attitude in a lot of things but there is also a care factor and respect and no apology for something that causes caused an issue and it's just a, an absolute pain in the ass because of what we've got to do to give the funds back um yeah you, you apology goes a long way apology goes a long way don't really need an explanation but you know we're sorry and an overpayment has occurred um the email did not say sorry at all it went you're over you're overpaid you have to pay it back this you, this these are your options of paying it back uh, you know and it's no fault of us as employees but so that was sorted out um i've got to now go through and transfer money and muck around and yeah horrible shoot to sort this out but at least now i know it's an overpayment um and i know what my options are I will say it was really funny because some of the, I mean, the guys that I work with, there was three others in my team that got the overpayment done to them. And so there's been some interesting discussions with them. Um, and, you know, trying to explain them the options when the, I know what the form says and I know what it meant to, means to say, it means. Um, and they were just like not understanding it um, so yeah but got there I helped two of them out last night one of the people was um, not in she's, she's not well poor thing so if she's in tonight or tomorrow night I'll be able to help her out if she if she wants wants some assistance in understanding what's going on Oh, yeah um so last night i well I, i've baked black forest cake and um, stayed tuned for that recording i did uh, record the whole process so you will see that soonish but yet again like anything that's recorded and in fits and starts um it just takes a lot of editing to put it together and fine tune some of it because also need to um, you know do fast forward get some time lapse stuff happening so you don't watch me mixing cream for so long to get it to the right consistency you know that kind of stuff um, so yeah the black forest cake was made and has now been devoured was quite nice the oh, the resin pour that I did on the round disc where I tried to create a beach scene that looked like a planet well that's now been completely redone front and back has been done it's a lot better than the, the first one and I know some people have actually gone oh no it looks good I wasn't I wasn't happy with it so I redid which is a great thing about the resin you can go directly over top of just need to give it a bit of a sand so it's got something to grip onto um so yeah that's it and yeah now i'm just gonna chill for a couple of hours just finish off a section of this diamond painting and then go to bed and um i'm going to record a section of my trip home or to work where hopefully you'll get to see well, hopefully or not hopefully um, if I happen to record when we've got kangaroos on the road because that's one thing that I think I've had conversation before with some saying you know, about kangaroos where in a lot of cases kangaroos are not everywhere they're not all over the streets or anything like that however I live right next to a wildlife park 
so therefore I do get kangaroos in the street and uh, and this morning I saw probably a, a, a mob of about 20 to 30 kangaroos just chomping down on the in the field or in the uh, section beside the road thankfully they were on the other side of the fence because when they're on the roadside of the fence that's when you end up with them jumping in front of you and ending up with roadkill and uh, never nice to deal with never nice to deal with uh, so um i'll leave it there and i'll see you in a couple of days today's date is tuesday the 23rd of april um i come off come off shift yesterday threw everything out of whack because game of thrones was on because instead of coming home and doing all my housework and climbing into a bed with fresh sheets and getting a few hours sleep and then waking up to a clean house i went and watched game of thrones i watched episode one and then i watched episode two so henceforth today is tuesday and i've done my housework this morning that's throwing a spanner in the works and says me right, but hey, it's going to happen every time. If the Game of Thrones is on, I'll be watching it as soon as it goes to air. Um, yeah. I, on the pay front, I have made two payments to get the money back to the company. However, the first payment I discovered was to the wrong bank account. So I'm waiting for those funds to bounce back. I've contacted both my bank and the company's bank. Um, and both of them, are, like the, well, the one that the company, where the, the bank account where the money was going to have turned around and said, it's missing one number, that month, those funds will come back to you. But because it's been public holidays, um, I'm hoping I'll see it today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm still pissed off about that one. Uh, what else? Today I will be working on putting the Black Forest Cake video all together. That will be good fun. hopefully you enjoy that what you saw was um, that's a new main road that that white vehicle went down <laughs> and there's no fences so at the moment anyone that's traveling down there at high speed at that time of the morning may end up hitting a kangaroo um, which there's a pretty high average of kangaroo deaths on that road at the moment um, which, you know, it, it, it's horrible to see. They need to do something about it. All I've done is just put up signs saying wildlife ahead. Um, take care. So, yeah, but, um, I mean, they, they just, it's what happens when you put a uh, main road through a section of a wildlife park. But I hope you like that little little bit where you get to see the, the, uh, the ruse. I actually did got out of the car and stopped and filmed them. That was quite nice. So I'll leave that there. Um, that was just a short one. I'm going to... Oh, I might do a little bit of diamond painting and then I'll put... Well, no, I'll diamond paint while I'll put the cake um, together. The cake video together. What I do also have to do is... This... Hopefully by the time my vlog comes out, you've... Uh, you've seen so today's date is uh, Thursday the 25th of April Anzac Day um, public holiday for Monday to Friday workers or even standard workers or should I say non-shift workers um, I have spent about 7 hours 
time to edit and get this black forest, black forest effect together um, to upload to YouTube. So it's still coming. Um, yeah, it, it, it's this one's a big job. I have also, while doing that, uh, I've recorded a whipping chat for South Africa um, for two days. And so I'm actually putting Black Forest Cake on the back burner. Um, just I'm getting so frustrated with it. So I'll get the South African one up together today um, and then continue on. Well, I'm going to want to get in and do some more diamond painting um, so I'll get in and do try and get the South African one up today uh, and go from there um, I just watched Rachel Ray's uh, whipping chat with the rant whatever it was and she actually raised a good point about content I watched his Teristas the other day and yet again about content I'm a small youtuber very small YouTuber and even as a small YouTuber not a big YouTuber um, trying to get this Black Forest Cake one uploaded and edited and, and uploaded to upload sorry um, it's feeling like a job I'm a small YouTuber this should not be feeling like a job this is something that I should be enjoying doing so when I get Black Forest Cake up is when I get it up. There's no rush. Um, because what I'm doing is a craft. It's just supposed to be enjoyable. And doing YouTube for a small, um, in a way, journey, but to share my experiences because I love watching other YouTubers with unboxing, whipping chats, um, and their post reviews. So I'm actually going to go back to enjoying myself, not pushing myself, and um, yeah, we'll go from there, we'll see how we go. I look hideous, it's, I've been awake for about an hour, and I've been trying to work on that stupid black forest cake. <laughs> it's a good cake, it's a good video, but it's just taking ages to get it. So yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow which is when I do my final one uh, for Friday upload or I might do a final one this evening um, we'll see how we feel so yeah bye for now good morning it is Saturday 27th of April um, last recording for this vlog should have been done <laughs> yesterday um, I wasn't well yesterday and I'm still not a hundred percent so yeah today is just a catch up on what I have achieved and well, more what I haven't achieved um, my plans for the fortnight was to so I made the vlog oh sorry I made the black forest cake that was supposed to be up um, I've spent off and on two days doing that and been struggling with it um, I did a whip and chat <laughs> with the leopard um, and I haven't even edited that to put it up um, I'll, hopefully I'll get that one today excuse me I'll hopefully I'll get that one done today and uploaded today and um, this one also uploaded today but this one's not, not too much of a task to get done so what have I achieved this week? A lot of procrastination. Put it that way, a lot of procrastination. This week, this fortnight. But I suppose this week it's more I've just procrastinated. Um, but I have done more diamond painting. More on the panther, I'd say, than anything else. So I'll change the angle of this and get down and show you what I have done. Um, oh, my epoxy work, I was supposed to finish off the edges of that and yet again, another thing not done. 
this is when a fortnight of just not getting stuff done um, and I think it's just because I'm not really that well at the moment which happens so yeah, I'll change the angle of this camera and show you what I've managed, what I have managed to do. I, I just changed the angle of the camera and I've got this wonderful blue looking sky. Um, just bear with me while I change the um, angle <laughs> of this camera. I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. What you're looking at is um, the resin work. So yeah, this is close up of the resin. You see how? Uh, see my fingers? It's not going to even focus on that. No. Uh, so hang on a sec. I'll get this to the right angle. There we go. Look at that. See, that was what you were looking at. You were looking at my sky. Well, kind of my ocean. So this is the epoxy. There we go. It's focused again. That's the epoxy that I did. Work that I did. That's the second coat, which. Actually, how do I do? There we go. Another thing. I don't think I've even put this up. So that is. So I've done that side. Um, just hey, look at that. You now see the camera. This is so reflective that you can now see the camera with my boob. Um, so that is one side, and there we go. The other side, and I'm actually happy with that. And I still haven't finished off the edges. I'm trying to work out what to do. But that's the resin work. The other one is I've done, so I did the whip and chat with um, South Africa Travels and that was simply doing that bit there. I didn't do much of that but this guy is one that I'm saving for when I do my whip and chats. Get that trip all talked about. The panther though, I got so much done of him and that was at the beginning of the fortnight. So he's looking really cool. Okay. And then and I've got this one's actually put still plugged on the board. And then I've got the flower cap. So I've finished halfway and then a bit more. Okay, now something that I did discover. I don't know whether I can show it to you here. This is um, my easel. I've got it lying down flat. For those of you that use, that have gotten the bubble boots and use an easel, bear with me while I just rotate this. What I have done is, at the very bottom, oh, hang on, very bottom of the easel, what I have is I've cut the bubble, uh, bubble, bubble boot and that goes over the edge. I'm finding that any beads I'm dropping are catching there and um, this is nice and spongy. The other thing I have done when I've been working on my big ones is on the top of this, I'll just show you here, the ever moment tube I've actually cut it and hang on, I need to lift that up here on there I slide the ever moment tube on there and so that's how it worked with Panther and I've had it where he has sat nicely over the edge so that's just a little hint a nice hidden hint in one of my blogs Okay, so that's where I'm at for the fortnight. Um, hopefully next fortnight will be a lot better. As I was saying, hopefully my fortnight will be a lot better. Um, Nathan has, Nathan's going fishing. Um, one of the reasons there's not many recordings is obviously when he's home, I don't record. Or I try not to because he gets pissed off because it's like I'm recording don't come in here because he makes some horrible noises um, so yeah he'll be heading off 
fishing for a week. So that's, um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get more done because he's away. And yesterday I put in the documents to, so the overpayment that I received from payroll for my company. Um, I've put all the documents are in, all sorted, payments going back, righty ra so that's all sorted and resolved. Um, what else, work-wise, yesterday, um, so I'm currently on a, I moved to a different, to, so my crew is the crew, we have four crews. So my original crew is D crew, now I've just been spent some time in B crew for training um, because D crew has too many people training it's just too hard on the team so I've come up, went across to B team to train and I'm now qualified I gained that second board um, which I'd love to show you what a board what it means to say a board but I can't even show you what it means um, um, because, yeah, I can, at the bare minimum, turn around and hopefully you can see some of that at a distance. That's actually one of my desks. Um, that's about the most I can show you because you can't see anything else because of the um, company policy of what you see at work. So that's very brief and, yeah, hopefully it's not picked up. Um, but yeah, you couldn't really see anything except for the size of the desk. Um, so yeah, I've been with temporary B crew. Now I've been with B crew temporary for training. Uh, and it was only supposed to be for three months. I think it was, it's been less than three months. Yeah, less than three months. Um, and they've shuffled the, shuffled me around again. I'm now at... Well, I'm still on B crew, but next block I do two days and then I'll have two days off and then I move to A crew, so a new crew, which is permanent crew, so there's no, I won't be getting sh shuffled around again. That's one of the things <coughs> when they start moving you, when you start shifting crews for different reasons. If you've been shifted once and you know it's only a temporary thing and they're getting shifted another time and it's not back to your original crew, that's when you need to say, is this a permanent move or is it temporary? Because you, it gets hard to have... <coughs> what they have is... Um, yeah, anyway, what you have is meetings with your supervisor every three months to discuss how you're going. But if you go from one crew to another crew to another crew, that's three different supervisors and there's no discussion about how you're going or where you stand with things or any improvements that you would like to see or any improvements I need to make. Um, so a crew, got, as I was told I was going to, is a permanent move. Obviously permanent until they shuffle the teams, but that what that means is um, I have my supervisor of D crew was my permanent supervisor. Um, B crew, he was just my temporary. And what it now means is A crew is she will be my permanent supervisor. Um, yeah, until you do shift work you, and you work under different crews, um, it's pretty hard to actually try and explain. But basically, A crew, my new supervisor, will manage my HR stuff, which is what my D crew supervisor used to do. How about that? Uh, <laughs> that makes any sense. So, yeah. um, so hopefully I'll get a lot more done this fortnight. Um, I've got to get that epoxy done. I've got to get black rice cake sorted out and uploaded. And whip and chat, which that's no biggie. That's just throwing in a couple of videos together. You know, it's all recorded. So hopefully you've enjoyed this fortnightly vlog. I've thrown in the kangaroos that I see in the morning when I come home from night shift. Um, so yeah, talk to you and hopefully with a lot more motivation next, next uh, fortnightly vlog.
Bye for now.